right at the end of the last April Fools. It was just like a picture. It was this tog underwater in the sea, and we're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But then we're like, what, what if it was a boat or a battleship? It drives really slow like a boat. It's really heavy. And once we had the image, the, uh, my boss saw it, and he's like, oh my god, we're doing that. Let's do it. I mean, the biggest challenge is just to not make it feel like a tank. To make the boat, we kind of had to throw out, like, throw gravity, throw friction, throw sliding out. One of the guys wanted to try to see if it would actually float on regular water in a standard map. It turns out it doesn't. Once the tog boat was a real thing, I had to actually make it fit in the garage. Uh, when you're switching through the, the reel in the garage and you hit the tog boat, the whole garage floods. It's very cool. <laughs> So the early version of the map was just flat water, but then the more that we played it, uh, we found out that it was cooler to have these larger land masses that you could have these fights that you kind of circle around and, and dodge in and out of. The game mechanics are a lot different than normal matches, so it, it makes it a lot more fun and interesting. And then on top of that, you have like the arcing shots with kind of the strategic cam mode where you can kind of see above and pick where you're shooting. One of my favorite things to do is to try and bump somebody so I can actually try and tip them over as far as possible. But you can see that propeller sort of spinning underwater. The one thing is the audio, because a lot of it we kind of borrowed from World of Warships, which is kind of hilarious in itself. You can hear the wood creaking on the deck as the, as the boat's turning. Um, you hear fog horns in the distance, um, the seagulls. Since this is April Fools, we want to kind of blow your mind and boat in the world of tanks. It's hilarious and it's crazy and it's the talk.